All right, shalom, shalom. This is Ashra ben Israel, or Kenyan Ashra ben Israel, live and direct, New York City and Queens, um, and, and Jamaica, Queens, actually. And I have Brother uh, Baruch with me. And so I just wanted to go into, I'm being interviewed right now, and I wanted to talk about some of the prophecies, some of the things that's going to take place. You know, and most people know that we... Um, uh, representing Zion and pointing a way back to our people and our people are fearing right now. There are a lot of things in prophecy taking place. You know, we are coming up in the next couple of weeks, next few weeks, um, um, the blood moon, of course, the Feast of Tabernacle. And for those brothers and sisters to be traveling there, a lot of our people are waking up now. And again, this information is not, it's, it's not, you know, only the, for me, it's for all of Israel and also the Gentiles that's going to cleave to the children of Israel. So who we are, most people don't understand. We are the children of Israel, uh, the 12 tribes. We spread it through the four corners of the earth. And um, I just wanted to go into detail on some of the things uh, that are happening right now as of today, as of, uh, what's the day, Art? The 20th of August. 30th of August. 30th of August. Um, that's that's taking place. Um, again, we have the Pope that's coming to New York, and uh, in a few weeks, doing he's going to be here doing the Day of Atonement. Um, this is uh, actually the 70th. I think it was the 70th um, reunion that the what do you call it? The um, where all the states are coming together in New York City. Uh, and the Pope's supposed to speak for the very first time. He's going to speak to everyone here in New York City. They're going to be voting on Palestinian becoming a state. It's very important for the for for those whose eyes are truly open, because what that means we are pro that we're pro that the Palestinians becoming a state. Why? Is because the Palestinians, what sits on today, is known as we know that's the mountains of Yehuda. And there are prophecies that have to take place there. In order for that to happen, these prophecies to take place, there has to be a people there as well. So we're for that. And we know that if, you, if anybody who lived amongst the Arabs, although they are uh, the enemy of the children of Israel, that one thing about living amongst them is that, number one, is that um, we don't get as hasslement. They invite us, makes the doors are open for us to come. You know what I mean? Those who lived abroad with Egypt and, and Dubai and, and um, um, what else, uh, Jordan and some of these other countries, you know, they don't sweat us. They don't bother us too much. Um, but Pal the Palestinians, one thing for sure, they all know who we are. They know exactly who we are. They know our history. When you're over there, they're not going to call you African-American. They're going to call you Yahudi or Yahuda or whatever you want to call it. But um, they know they know who we are. So by Palestine becoming a, 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 a state, that's a, that's something a prophecy has to take place of us being in that land, and we're able to go to Zion and and from Lachish, those who traveled to Lachish with us, you seen that when we were in Lachish, you seen the borders, the fence that was up to separate so-called Palestine, so-called Israel. Well, you actually, what, you, what you don't know is that we, when, if you, those who were there who realized that we we're like 30, 45 minutes, not even 45 minutes away, 30 minutes away from, from, from actual Zion. So, and you notice that the land is beautiful, it's green. So we're going to get pictures of that and video of that um, um, during the uh, tabernacle. That should be coming up in the next month or two. So we're, we're pro them. Um, also, the Palestinians are being supported by the Medes. Saudi Arabia is the enemy of uh, Hamas, which is in Palestinian. Now, am I, am I so, am I so uh, uh, pro Hamas? No, none of that. They are the enemy. The Most High is gonna use the enemy of, of, of him and the children of Israel to do his will and help his, help his seed come back into the land. You know, so, so some people may say, is the enemy of enemies my friend? No, they're not. Neither one of them, my friend. But the mass is going to use them for our will. So um, they're being supported. Hamas is being supported by Iran, and and but we're we support we we're, we're pro them again becoming a state because this is an entry for us. They're the ones who's going to bring us to the land. Also, the king of the south, 
we were showing people who the king of the South was. Now, I'm going to put it out the first, first, uh, and, and this is going to be the first time you ever hear me say this. And I'm going to say, no, we are not Muslims and we're not pro-Muslims. They are, they are our number one enemy. Some of them are Esau from Amalek. You got five different, you got four different, as I know, patriots of Arabs. You got Jokhtan, Jokshan, Ishmael, and uh, some of Edom. Okay, so those who we know as to be ISIS, I'm going to put it out there, ISIS, they are our enemy, but the Most High is going to use them to bring his children of Israel in the land because they're going to be eventually conquered by uh, uh, the Medes. These are the kings of the south that's spoken about in scriptures. You're going to have the king of the north and the king of the south fighting against each other. But it's going to be the, the, the king, the anti mashiach who we know is Nimrod, and we're going to go on some scriptures about that. Um, they're the ones who's going to, uh, uh, he's the one who's going to be against the, uh, 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 what the Muslims call it, the Mahdi. So what you're seeing right now is, is the rebuilding of the caliphate. The rebuilding of the caliphate. And that's not our empire. Our empire or our uh, kingdom is going to be established and destroy all caliphates, a Muslim caliphates. Okay? So this is going to be established by the God of Israel. We don't have to do anything. We just have to sit back and let the master do the work. We don't have to lift a finger. Matter of fact, scripture talks about one point that uh, uh, we're going to fight for in Jerusalem, but that's when the anti mashiach comes into our borders, as scripture says. And there's going to be some of those who die. They're going to put their lives on the line, and they're going to die for Zion. But these are the ones who's going to reign with the Hamashiach, who the Gentiles call Christ, for the thousand years. That's something else. But then... Um, um, there's going to be another portion in Isaiah 11, the chapter of Isaiah 11 speaks about, about how we're going to bounce on Edom and Amalek and, you know, these other uh, nations. That's later on during the time of the Mashiach return. So we have no power at all. So the Most High is going to use these Gentiles to do his will again and bring in the children of Israel. So ISIS, yeah, they are enemy, but the Most High is going to use them. Um, the Muslims are waiting for who they call, again, the Mahdi. He's spoken about the uh, the Irans or the Iranians or the Medes, that's or the Parthians. The scripture talks about they're going to bring our brothers that uh, uh, from Egypt, from Pathros, um, from uh, it says uh, 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 from Nubia and from other parts of the middle, uh, the middle, so-called Middle East to Jerusalem to a to a portion of the southern kingdom that's going to be there. And, and some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So when the scripture speaks of the inhabitants of Jerusalem, they're speaking of some, they be Gentiles, but a lot of them are going to be the children of Israel from different tribes. Okay? A portion, not all of Israel, just a portion. So I know most Hebrews want to see scriptures. Everything I speak, we, we back, you know, we're doing everything according to the scriptures that you've been looking at, uh, uh, the work we're doing. So some of you may not know, so you may say, what is this foolishness? Oh, yeah. What I will tell you is look at the information, look at the documentaries, look at uh, what we have been doing, what we've been putting up. We, 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 we're about it, doing business for the most high. You know? So what I want to do, um, I wanted to go for my people that's afraid, because um, um, they're, they're, there's a lot of people afraid, and they don't want to go. They, they, they're looking to go every other place. Every other place in the world. And also, one important thing, that reparation is right around the corner for us, for the so-called Negro in America. Not only in America, but throughout the earth. But right now, those who I'm speaking to those in America. Our reparations is, is about to happen. And what we're about to do, you see that Obama spoke on it, okay? And he spoke on apology. He's going to be apologetic, I guess, during this last year to the so-called black man, but with that reparations coming along. So we have other brothers who's working on that. Uh, um, that's from the Chicago area. Uh, a lot of our people don't know as well that before Obama, and yes, Obama, he's not us, but again, the Most High is gonna use all these nations to help his people out, just as they've done before. Just as they've done before, it's nothing new under the sun. So what we got to do, we got to maintain keeping the commandment, statutes, and laws to best our ability. Those who are not able to seek the master, you should be trying to seek the master because by you seeking the master face in Zion, this is how the curse is going to be removed from off our brothers who are not able to go. 
nothing changed that's, that was the protocol and so that's what one of the things we're teaching but but for those our brothers and sisters I want to go back to this what I was saying is that um our people are, 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 are going every other place besides Zion they want to run here so when that reparations come we're telling you to go to the master face in Zion you understand? Because if you're trying to go to this place or that place for safety, the Most High is going to send a sword after you. So, uh, uh, you know, just like Hashua said before, and I spoke on it before, you're better off standing in the captivity uh, if you can't go until the Master opened the doors for us to go. Well, let me get Isaiah 41, and we're going to start at verse 25. Let's see what the scripture says about um, what we should be doing or what those who are going to be leaving are able to leave. So I always tell people the three ways to go into the land that we're going to be going, that we're going to be delivered. Those who go by themselves, the Gentiles, and the angels. So the question is, which one do you want to go? Which way? How do you want to go in there? You know what I mean? And they all at different times. Okay? The angels are much later. So give me that scripture real quick. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 25, right? Yep. I have stared up one from the north, and he comes. From the rising of the sun, he calls on my name. So hold on. So now, that's deep, because we know if you keep reading up, you're gonna, it's that, that's, that's talking about the Medes. This is the army that's spoken about Isaiah 13 that the Most High is mustering up. Okay? All right, keep going, read. And he comes against princes as though mortal. As the potter treads clay. Come on. Who has declared from the beginning, and we know. So hold on. He said, who has declared from the beginning that, that we should know? Go ahead. And former times, and we say, he is righteous. No, no one is declaring. Mm -hmm. No, no one is proclaiming. So no one is declaring. No one is talking about seeking the master face. No one is declaring the, 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 the right ruling was about to come on earth. Go ahead, read. No, no one is hearing. Come on. Words. So nobody's hearing the words. They're not hearing that when we say, hey, seek the master face of Zion. They're looking at us crazy. They're laughing at us. You understand? Uh, but the master got something in plan that, that's for the children of Israel. Those who seek that remnant. This has got something to do. I don't care. We got brothers. I've been in this 20 years, 30 years, and they know nothing. They should be embarrassed to say that. Because you didn't know if, you, if you've been in it 20, 30 years, you should have known what the scripture was reading about talking about two Zions, two Jerusalems. So that's, you should be embarrassed to say that. But go ahead, read. He who was first said to Sion, Zion. So, so hold on. He is first. The first should say to Zion, not Jamaica, not nowhere else. The true past is what emerged from out of Zion. So to read that again, the first what? He who was first said to Zion. He who was first should say to Zion. Zion is the place. That's where deliverance is at. Go ahead, read. See, see them, and to Jerusalem. Wait a minute, what? And to Jerusalem. And to Jerusalem. Okay. So I, I just wanted to put that out there. Is, is that it on that verse? Um, I, um, we got one more, a couple another, another line after that. Go ahead, read it. I give one who brings the, to the good news. Come on. And I see that there is no man, of these, there is no counselor. Mm -hmm. Who? When I ask of them, answers a word. So hold on. He said they bring the good news. So what is the good news? That people are seeking the master face. They're seeking the master face in Zion. Scripture says no man seeketh seek Zion. Hey, everybody want to do everything else, go every place else. But they're afraid to go over there. They don't understand. You get killed right over here in Queens. You get killed right over in Brooklyn before you get killed over there. I'll walk out of here and get, and get murdered. You know what I'm saying? At a bodega. You see what I'm saying? So I, I want people to, let's go, I want people to understand. I'm going to go to a couple of scriptures and then we're going to rest. Um, let's go to Micah 5. Start a verse uh, 5 and 5. So this is, this information that we're putting out it's for those who, who has that spirit to hear. I mean, there's all kinds of brothers. You know, as a matter of, matter, as a matter of fact, we have brothers who are, uh, that, 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 they even seen a documentary saying they want to seek the master face. So this is not about Hashua or freedom. 
This is not nobody trying to follow us. We don't, we don't care. We don't want nobody to follow us. This is about seeking the master face. And so because we're pointing the way back home, most brothers are like, oh, but you, you going out there with that, you following them brothers. They ain't following us. They following the master face in Zion. And just like I said at the fourth, uh, the conference that was in Ohio, there's only a demon to tell somebody not to go seek the master face. Now, now let's check this out. Let's, before you get that scripture, let's, let's analyze this. You have all these brothers. Now, script, well, scripture says that my face is in Zion forever, and I'll be there perpetually. Uh, this is my resting place. This is my habitation, right? So I understood at one point where we didn't know, but now that you know where the master says his face is at, I talked to some of these brothers. They said, I love God. I love the Most High. I said, okay, well, if you love the Most High, and you know that this is habitation. Do you believe that? Yeah, I believe that's the place. I believe in spirit there forever. I said, okay, so why don't you do this? Don't pay your rent for one month and go see the, the creator, the master, where he says, you, my ears will attend to this place forever. If you pray in this place forever, then I will hear your prayer. You will leave a blessing. You understand? He said, if you come to this place, it's not the same thing always been through history. And guess what? I, I tell them, like, spend that money. Tickets are really cheap now. You get tickets for $550. Round trip, leaving out of New York City. Let's go there. Oh, well, man, you know, man, I got to pay this light bill. I got to pay this. I mean, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Huh? You know, are you trying to tell me that 500 your light bill, is more important than the creator, the, the creator of all creators? That he's telling you to come to this place? To pray to him there? Well, God is everywhere. Hey, I, we, we know that he's everywhere. But he specifically said, if you need, you need to come here to get yourself out of the condition you're in. You understand? That's how much you love, love the, the, the God of Israel. That's how, that's how much you love God. You know what I mean? That you can't go, you can't take the time and pick up and, 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 and sacrifice a bill? Where's the faith at? Oh, ain't time to go. When well, the scripture says, seek me speedily. Zechariah 8 and 20. He says, seek my face speedily. Not take your time. Speedily means let me get going. So, again, the master is not worth you dropping the bill, not paying the bill. We're not telling people to move over there. We're saying pilgrimage. Come here to repent to the master face, pray to the master face. When he says your prayers will be heard at, Anytime, perpetually, his habitation in this place, perpetually, Zion, my resting place, the history, the real place. You don't want to come there. You don't want to, you want to drop that. So how much do you really believe in the master? If you ask me, you don't know the master. You don't know God. You don't know the master at all. You're playing religion. You're out of wear just like our forefathers was. You're wearing fringes. You're wearing tassels. You, you, you like the look. The gear look real nice. You look real beautiful in your gear. Just like our forefathers, but as the, pro well, as the prophets was trying to teach our people, the spirits of the Hamashiach, the, the law that should be written on your heart, that you will want to go. That's what we're talking. That's what we're promoting. That's what we're pointing the way back. The 144,000 will be in Zion. Go ahead, read that out. The book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 5. Come on, read it. And this shall be peace when Asher comes into our land. So uh, the Asher, Asher or the Assyrian is Nimrod. We can prove that all the time. There's brothers who put that video up. Uh, we can show anybody at any time. Ancient Nimrod, yes, he will be back. He's the anti mashiach It's not Obama. Go ahead, read. And when he treads in our palaces, Come on. we shall ra raise against him seven shepherds, eight leaders of men. So hold on, yes. The scripture says that the Assyrian, although the anti mashiach will come and sit himself on the throne of the Most High in Zion, the city of the north. Yes, that's got to happen. Prophecy says that uh, uh, we're going to build the walls and the and, and, and Antichrist is going to come back and destroy. It has to happen. It's prophecy. That's the master plans. It's got to be a people for there, for there to happen. Yes, we're promoting. We, show, we know this. The, 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 those who are going to die by the sword are going to be the call, they're called the sinners in Zion. But go ahead, read. And they shall shepherd the land mm -hmm. of Asher Come on. with the sword mm -hmm. in the land of Nimrod mm -hmm. at its entrance. Wait a minute, that the land of who? Land of Nimrod. So we know the Assyrian is called Nimrod. What verse you at? Verse 6. Go ahead, read. And he shall deliver us from Asher. Come on. 
When he comes into our land. So hold on. He's going to deliver us. He is the most high. He's going to use the nations. They're going to deliver us. We must say who the kings of the south is. The Medes. Who else is going to be uh, uh, joining the Medes? And the, they are enemy though. There ain't no love for them either. They're the enemy. Let's make that known. But let's read that again. He's going to what? And he shall deliver us from Ashur when he comes into our land. So he's going to deliver us from the Assyrian, from Nimrod, when he comes into our land. Not the sinners in Zion. They got to go. It's not my word. This is the most high word. Go ahead, read. And when he treads within our borders. See that? Come on, read. And the remnant of Jacob. So the who? The remnant of Jacob. So there's going to be a remnant of Jacob. Read. Shall be in the midst of many people. Come on. As do from the most high. Come on. So it's from the Most High. So those many people are some of Hebrews and some of Gentiles. Okay. Yes, Gentiles. If you don't believe me, I know a lot of brothers teach that, oh man, these, you can't come to the kingdom. I say, well, if you've been in 20 and 30 years, how come you, how come you haven't read Ezekiel 47, 48, where it talks about the strangers going to be amongst us in the land of Israel and they're going to be given their portion. No, and that's not talking about Hebrews who don't know who they are. Come on. As showers on the grass. Come on. Which do not wait for men, nor delay for the sons of men. Give me Isaiah 10 to 24 real quick. So if you're talking about fearing, then you already, you may as well stop. Why are you calling yourself a Hebrew? I fear nothing, okay, um, but the master. You see what I'm saying? So the master has been, I don't know, I don't even know if I'm going to make it back into Zion this time, but I'm going to seek the master face. I don't have nothing. You know, I, I tell you guys that over and over and over. I have nothing. You understand? I just told, what I tell you, what I just tell you, brother, was what I how many pair of shoes I got? Uh, oh, you said something with the boots, one pair of boots? I just want, I want pair of boots. I wear sandals. I don't even bought myself, I haven't even bought myself shoes, man, because I've been saving up. And because other brothers and sisters have, you know, through me, I don't take nothing from any. We don't ask people. Now, let's, let's, let's make this straight. We don't ask anyone. How sure myself not ask nobody for one cent? Everything I've done has been out of my own pocket. There's been some good brothers and some good sisters that seen the work, say, here, hold this. I'm like, no, they're like, no, take it. You know, and I'm like, listen, if this is going to hurt you or your pockets or whatever, I don't want to take it because it'd be a more of a curse to me than a blessing. I can't take nothing from somebody who, who don't have it like me, who, you know, who's just as poor as I am. You know what I mean? But if there's some brothers who, if you can spare it, if you can't, then I take it. I'm not going to ask you if you see it then I take it. You know what I'm saying? But it's all going towards either this work or my family. I do have kids. So I don't even have a pair of shoes right now. I'm in sandals. I'm in sandals right now. You understand? As winter's coming. I bought a pair of boots from the Army Surplus for ten dollars in uh in, in Michigan about a week ago. You understand? I walk my, my shoes to the sole. You know what I mean? I'm working in uh I'm doing summer work in uh home improvement with an who helped me out. And 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 the money check this out. Let me show you what the what we, the kind of faith we gotta have. We gotta have the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and Enoch that's spoken about in, in, in scriptures. Okay? So you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm walking this walk because I believe in the master and I believe in his word. And I believe, I, I, I totally believe in everything he said. He said, listen, if I take care of the birds and the animals, how much more I take care of you? Take no thought. You understand? So that's how I'm walking. So I, I mean, for those who do, who have given, given me money to, to help my family and sent clothes out to my wife uh, and the children of Trinidad, I thank you. We don't buy new clothes. Everything is hand-me-down. But this work is more important. So the little money that I got, I saved this money to give to, the, the, to, to, give to my wife and for the tickets to Zion. So that's why I'm saying, spend, take a, take a, don't, don't pay a bill. Seek the master face, pray, and see what he'll do for you. You, I don't know, you might come back and hit the lottery. But, but don't be afraid to go over to the Middle East. They don't want you over there because they don't want you over because you're going to be, they're going to, you're going to learn who you really are, whether you're calling yourself Hebrew or not. They're going to call you Yahudi. Those people know our history. They are, I'm telling you, like, it's so crazy that, you know, I, I was on a bus one time. I think I explained this before. I was on a bus one time over in uh, Egypt, and the Arab kid knew that I spoke English, and he was like, he said, me ask you a question. I said, yeah, well, well, talk to me. He said, how come you niggas forgot what, what they did to you? You know what I'm saying? How come you niggas forgot what they did to you? I wasn't mad because he, he called me a nigga. He's identifying us as niggas. 
I was more interested in, and he said, how come you forgot what they did to you? You know, so, so this is real. We don't want our people to fear, um, fear anything, fear the master face, you know. Um, go ahead, get, go ahead, go ahead. About let them let them know it's not a scam. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Let me, let me touch up. For those who said this is a scam, right? Scripture said the scripture says test the spirit. Yeah, a lot of brothers who a lot of these brothers are dealing with. I can't put everything on demons, but a lot of them are dealing with demons. You know what I mean? Because again, if you're gonna tell somebody that not to seek the master face is a scam, the design is not a scam. You know what I mean? But you have to you have to get up and go see yourself. If you don't believe, then look at the information that's put out there. Do your research. You know what I'm saying? Scripture says, hear, hear, hear all matters. Hear everything. Hear the whole hear the whole matter. Hear everything out. Then make your decision. You understand? Do a proper research. Do, you know, if you don't believe that you're a Hebrew or if you believe that you're African-American, you know, do the research. If you don't believe this is real, this Zion is to Jerusalem, do the research. The information, most of it's done for all you got to do is go behind us and double, triple, quadruple, tetragramma, triple, check whatever you need to do. You understand what I'm saying? Just to see, it's not a scam. This is real. I'm not going to be, I know this is real. You know what I mean? I'm living it. I'm walking it. You understand? I'm walking this. Like, I'm, I'm actually, I can't believe what's happening these days. I can't believe what the master is doing for me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm speaking from my heart here because I really want those who are, have this much of doubt that this is really real. You know, the camps, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally against camps. Not like, you know, like they're my brothers, but the reason I say why I'm totally against camps because one, you have camps, so camps teach fear. You know what I mean? They teach fear. You know what I mean? They, they use the fear doctrine on brothers and sisters. You have, uh, um, you have some camps who, who doing a separation already. They doing what the angels didn't know. The angels didn't know who was Israel, who wasn't Israel. You know what I mean? That's why the Mashiach said, nah, don't go through and kill him not. You may take up some of the, 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 the children of Israel by doing that. So the angels didn't even know, but you know. Then you have some of the brothers, you know what I mean? They just dividing our people by names and, and, and you know, all kinds of craziness. So the master is going to send a sword after these guys. It's simple and plain. If they don't repent, if they don't stop, it's not, a, they, and they're afraid. This is why they're afraid they don't want you to go seek the master face in Zion. I don't care what camp you come from, Yohanan, um, um, uh, Nathan Yab, uh, Rakar, whatever, whatever camp you're from, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You are your own man. You have to stand before the master, you know what I'm saying, on your own account. Not these brothers. Not these guys who, you know what I mean? You're going to say, well, uh, brother or elder such and such told me this. The master's going to look at you like you're like you're, like, like a fool, like, a, like you're a foolish man. You understand? So you have to stand to come for your own soul. I can't even save my wife. You know what I'm saying? I can't save my children. I can be a cover for them, but I got a son that's 20 some years old. I'm telling him to seek the master face, but at all, he got to do it on his own. I can't save him. I have to save my soul, myself, as scripture says. Save yourself, deliver thyself. You know what I mean? So don't get caught up in this foolishness, oh, it ain't real, or, or these brothers about gimmick, or, or whatever it may be. You know, um, it's, it's not that, you know. Um, so read that scripture out. Don't be afraid to seek the master face of Zion. Go ahead, read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 24. Therefore, thus says the master, Yahuwah, the most high of hosts, my people who dwell in Zion, Sion, Come on. Be, be not be afraid of Asherah. Well, man, don't be afraid of, of, of the Assyrian. Don't be afraid of Nimrod. Remember, he already said, don't, when he tread into our borders, don't worry, he got us. Don't be afraid of Nimrod. Go ahead. Who beats you with a rod mm -hmm. and lifts up his staff. So, yes, yeah, some of us are going to get killed. <laughs> But it's they're the sinners of Zion. And then you got some who are the righteous ones that are going to fight for Zion. They're the ones who's going to reign with the master for a thousand years. Yes, we know this. I'm hoping that I get to that day. I don't know if all this work that, I, that I'm trying to put out and with our brothers and sisters, I don't know if I'm going to make it. You know what I mean? I have no idea if, the, if I'm going to die today or tomorrow, the master may. You know, I don't know. But what I do know is that if the master was coming back, I'm going to do my best to be working, like he said. 
And the next thing, I'm praying that I do get there to see this day. You know what I'm saying? Scripture says you barely going to see a man in these last days. It's coming. The real, the, the, it's coming. Go ahead, read. Who beats you with a rod and lifts up his staff Come against on. you. See that? Come on. In the way of Misarim. So hold on. The master said, do not be afraid of the Assyrian when he comes into our borders. So with that, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm going to say shalom, shalom. Mm. All praises to the Most High. Seek the master face in Zion. Uh, don't be afraid. Um, we're going to be looking for brothers to come out to the land. We're going to be prophesying in that land. And I want to give much respect to um, the swords of Zion for uh, um, um, telling them brothers and sisters in, the, in, in their congregation, you know what I mean, to seek the master face. So that's, that's a good thing. If you have a camp and you're pointing away to Zion, Hey man, you done spared not only your life, you spared those uh, those who in your camp life. Thus says the master, not me. So I like to give uh, uh, um, much love to also the house of David, uh, brothers Barak and Benjamin and Ash and the brothers there, because they're uh, seeking a master face in Zion. You know what I mean? And so um, you know this is, uh, and I pray that all these brothers do this and that they keep their word, because then you making the word to me. Yeah, I give a damn less. You know what I mean? It's the vow that has to be continued with the master um, in Zion. So um, I just want to, matter of fact, give me, give me um, Psalms 50 and uh, um, what's the last verse there? The last verse of Psalms. Yes, in Psalms 50. What's the last verse? 23. 23. Come up to, I think, 18. Let me see how that sounds. Let me read this real quick. Yeah, okay. Go up to 17. Why you hated instruction? Right. Read, go read that right there. The book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 17. Come on. Why you hated instruction. So now, you hate instructions. Destructions means the law, the Torah, right? Seek the master face in Zion. The master never said not to stop seeking his face. We just didn't know where Zion was at. Go ahead, read. And cast my words behind you. So you cast his words behind you. When brothers are telling you to seek the master face, you're like, yeah, okay, whatever. I've been in this 20 years. I've been in this 30 years. You know what I mean? Now you you mad at me because I'm telling you to do the, the, what Torah says. And it's like this this nigga don't know nothing. You know, he, he, he only been in here 10 plus years. I've been in here 30 years. Okay, so well, I know brothers who been, who's born in this, they're 75, 80 years old. <laughs> they didn't know this information. You understand? They born in the 20s and 30s. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, read. When you saw a thief, you were pleased with him. Come on. And you take part with adulterers. So now he's considered you a, a whore. Adulterous. You're just like a thief. Go ahead, read. You let your mouth loose to evil. Come on. Now, how do you make your mouth loose to evil? He's going to explain how that. Go ahead, read. And your tongue frames deceit. You frame a deceit because you're gonna you telling people, oh, this is uh this ain't real. This is uh what what the word the the, the word uh, uh uh this is a gimmick. Yeah. You know, don't seek the master faces. Now, you're not you're not doing you're not going against me. You're going against the most high. It's not my words. That's his words. I'm just saying what the book's saying and showing and pointing away and showing this is where we at and it can prove what I'm doing. Go ahead. My works prove what I'm doing. My works, I don't care. I don't look at what a man say. I look at what a man's doing. I'm looking at your works. You can talk me to death. I'm looking at your works, what you doing. That's the action speaks. Go ahead, read. You sit. Speak against your brother. You speak against your brother. Man, this nigga is off. He this, he do that. You know what I mean? And then you, 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 you're talking about our brothers. You're cursing brothers out who are not even in this truth. You, there was a time you wasn't in this truth. But this is talking about some specific. This is talking about those brothers who are pointing the way back home. And I can prove that later on. It's, 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 that's a whole different story. I'm, but I'm just going right here to show you. And you can read the whole chapter. This is talking about vow, meaning that coming to Zion, killing the lamb before the house, uh, uh, as we did back in Egypt. That never stopped. It only stopped after the Hamashiach, after 70 AD. Check the history. Go ahead, read. You slander your own mother's son. Come on. You have done this, and I kept silent. So hold on. He said, you done this. How did you slander your own mother's son? Because all of us come for the four wives of Jacob. Come on, read. 
you have thought that I was altogether like you. So you think you thought I agreed with you. You thinking that the most high grew with me. Don't seek me. We got to wait till the most high come. Well, God is coming to get us. There's not one scripture that says that, that, that God is coming to get us. He's going to defend Zion. He's going to defend Jerusalem. Come on, read. I rebuke you. He what? I rebuke you. He's going to rebuke you. Now, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen to me, my son, my family, my friends, or anyone, or any of these brothers. This is real simple. If we seek the master face, he tells us this is how you're going to remove the curse from us. Jo read Joel 2 and 15. Read 2 Chronicles 30. If by you coming here, he's going to remove the curse from your brothers and your children. Look in the fact he said your brothers before he said your own children. Go ahead, read. And I set it in order before your eyes. Come on. Understand this, please. Come on. You who forget the Most High. You forget the Most High. That's a precept to Isaiah 65 and uh, I think 12 and 11. You forgot his holy mountain. Read. Let's I tear you in pieces. He lets he tear you in pieces. So you forgot about him, he's going to tear you in pieces. The decree was made to return to Zion for pilgrimage. All who can come. People want to go everywhere else. 144,000 would be there. Go ahead, read. With no one to deliver. Come on, nobody's going to deliver you out of this one. You ain't talking your way out of this one, Doc. Go ahead, read. Whoever offers praise uh -huh. esteems me. Come on, read. And to him uh -huh. who prepares a way, Come on. I show the deliverance of the most up. So hold on. See, I'm, I'm trying to fit that right there. I'm trying to prepare a way by showing and pointing the way to Zion. Not for only me and my family, but for my brothers. You know what I mean? So any man, this is this is any man. This every man is supposed to be doing this in these days. This is again, this is not just an American movement. This this stuff is we're being contacted worldwide. This is international. This is going on international. People are reaching Hashua Amario and myself and the other brothers from other places in the world, far as Australia. This is real. That's it. Yes, so I just wanted to put this information out there. And you don't have to believe not one word and not a damn thing I say. It's fine. It's okay. Again, the master knows who's coming. The, not, the master knows who's going to seek his face. I'm going to play my part. Brothers and sisters, you have a role to play. Some will end up on one side of the sword that the Most High is wielding. Some will be on the other end with sharpening the, the, the tip of his sword. You need to know and understand what role you're playing. You need to know what role that the person who you're following is playing. You need to understand if they're really um, the love of the Most High, because the love of the Most High, the laws will be written on their heart, and they're going to do anything impossible to go and see the, seek the Master for your design, not even pay their rent. They're going to put their children behind. They're going to put everything they're behind to seek the Master. The cre We're talking about the creator of everything. His place where his habitation is at. We're talking about that. When he, said, when he says, yes, I would choose Jerusalem again. Okay, well, what did that mean, choose Jerusalem again? That means there got to be a people there for him to choose it. So if ain't nobody there going there, how are you going to choose it? So don't follow man. Don't follow me. Don't follow the master. Follow the book. Follow the Torah. And do exactly what the protocol people have been doing for thousands of years before we end up in this disbursement. And that was seeking the master face for repentance and to say, I'm sorry, every opportunity they got when they came out of any captivity or, or, or any condition they were in. And again, even Tobit said very often I would go to Zion because he would go there to pray and say, help us. But this generation don't want to do it. And because those who don't want to do it, their master's going to send a sword at them. So I'd like to say Shabbat Shalom and Shalom to everybody. And um, may the Most High uh, protect us in these days. And uh, because what's coming is real evil. <laughs> Portals about to be open and demons about to be let loose. Angels about to return. Stars about to fall to the earth. Uh, wormwood is about to hit and destroy thirds of the water. So you not you know your teachers you know is not going to be there, you know um, it's, it's about to get real ugly. We're in for a rough road, people, and I pray that I make it through. Shabbat shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Come out of her, my people.